I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know. There's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Alyosha keeps telling everyone Duke could have jumped off the bridge in time. The others are also holding well, but I... I just unraveled. Of course, I had friends die before. He wasn't looking for death, Duke. He did volunteer for the most dangerous missions, but didn't expect to die. He was looking up to Stepan. Dad. You. Especially you. And he didn't die for nothing, did he? He wanted us to get there, to Yamantau. He wanted us to tell them about Moscow. How we survived there and still haven't given up. How we've been hiding it for so long. But when I think of it being you, and not even knowing for sure, I'd never be able to live through it. So, you think I should just let it all out? I don't think that would make me feel better. I've been thinking, back home, we buried our friends at home, and avenged them at home. That home and life there sucked. We were kept there with chains. No, even worse, with lies. And now we are looking for a new home. But here, it's someone else's home, and we are not invited. Right. I've got to get myself under control. Go. Dad wanted to see you. <laughs> <laughs> 